O King Nebuchadnezzar, listen to me. This is written to all the world, to us today. Listen to me. Stop sinning. Do what you know is right. Be merciful to the poor. Perhaps even yet God will spare you. So Daniel tells him the meaning of the dream and says, King, this is what's going to happen to you. But then he ends up by saying, listen to me, King. Stop sinning. And I believe that's what God's saying to all of us. Just stop sinning. Now, I know we'll make mistakes. I know we'll sin. I think what he's talking about, quit living habitually in sin that you know. Work to get out of it. Stop it. Just lop it off. Say no more. I mean, we'll all make mistakes. We'll lose our temper. We'll say things we shouldn't say. We may do things we shouldn't do. But habitually, when you live in it, that's what he's talking about. Stop sinning. Quit habitually living. Don't get under condemnation and say, man, I sin every day. I say things I shouldn't say. I act in a way I shouldn't act sometimes. We all do that because we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. But he's saying stop sinning. Stop habitually living in sin that you know because that's pride. When you say, God, I really don't care what you say. This is how I'm going to live anyway. This is what I'm going to do. It's how I'm going to act. It's what I'm going to talk like. It's where I'm going to go. Think about it. That's what he's saying. He said, come on, man. If I say it in our vernacular, come on, man, stop. Come on, dude, don't do it anymore. Just get your life right. Repent. That's all you got to do. You know, when you don't think God can forgive you, you know that's pride also. Because, you know, pride goes against the Word of God. God says, if you repent, I'll forgive you. If you confess your sins, I'll, I am faithful and just to forgive your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. I mean, God is so good that when you repent truly and say, God, I'm sorry for doing this, he'll just forgive everything else you've ever done. The sins you don't know. But pride, well, I've done too much. I'm too bad. I'm too awful. That's pride. That's not being humble. That's false humility. Because what you're saying is God's word doesn't work for you. Somehow you're too great of a sinner for God to forgive. And yet if you read the Bible, he's forgiven people who've done a lot of stuff. Today, we deal with just today and tomorrow, and we don't think about eternity. What's best for me right now may not be the right thing to do at all. And God's not harsh. All you got to do is repent, man. I, gosh, I've repented so many times. See, because pride makes you small.